Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to take your game development skills to the next level by using ChatGPT to do our C++ programming for us. I know a lot of people in my Discord do not like to do any C++ programming, so in this video, I'm going to be basically just showing you how to make some attributes in using the gameplay ability system in Unreal Engine 5 and not doing any line of code ourselves. Uh, maybe some tiny tweaks depending on how ChatGPT, whatever response it gives us but I will be just showing you exactly how I do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I just created this blueprint project of a third person map and that's it. So I just need to, of course, go to edit, go to plugins and go over to gameplay abilities, enable this and restart my project. So now that my project's restarted, let's just start asking ChatGPT some questions. So now I said, hey, I just started a new project, blah, blah, blah. And now it's going to give me the instructions. So it's going to say, go to tools, click new C++ class. And then we're going to select attribute set as the parent class and we'll name it something like gas attribute. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go over to tools, new C++ class, go to all classes and look for attribute set, like so. And I'll click next and call this gas attribute. And then I'll hit create class and this will launch my Visual Studio project. C++ file, which was only including my header file. And my header file just has this stuff in it. So I'm actually just gonna copy paste my header file to start with and give it to ChatGPT and just tell it exactly what I want. So it's going to already give me some attributes, but I don't want to use these. I'm going to have it do more than just your simple mana, stamina, and health. And it'll just give me a constructor to initialize it in my C++ file. But first, I'm going to write, this is my header file. I want to add the following stat. So I'm just going to say I want to add the following stats, which will be replicated. And you can also add whatever else or any additional info you want ChatWPD to do for you. All right, so I gave it quite a few attributes. I'm going to say to add current health, max health, current mana, max mana, and strength, int, agility, spirit, attack power, magic power, movement speed. And then I'll just add, make sure current health never exceeds max health. Make sure that current mana never exceeds max mana. And make sure that current stamina never exceeds max, max stamina. And since I said this is my header file, here's my C++ file. And I'll just go back and copy this C++ file. And I know there's nothing in here, but I'll just give it to it anyways. So now it's just going to go ahead and create this giant... Uh, this is for my gas attributes header file that I can just copy paste it when it's done. And now it's creating my C++ file. It has all the initializations here to initialize default values. And it's making sure that my current value never exceeds my max value for my stamina, mana, and HP. And now it's creating replicated functions here. So I'll just let it do a thing. And then I'm just going to just copy paste this into my code. And that's it. I don't want to do any modifications on my end. And now I'll just copy this into my header. And I'll copy paste this into my C++. And now I'll ask, do I need to do anything else? So now it's saying I need to create a blueprint character or actor and actually add the ability system component to our character. And now I don't want to do any of this myself. So I'm just going to go back and actually just um, go to my project. And then I'll add that character that I told us about. So I'll go to new C++ class and add a character. And I'll just call this gas character and click create class. And I'm just going to copy paste my gas character dot H. So I'll say, here's my gas character dot H. Here's my gas character dot C plus plus. And that's it. I'm just copy pasting my code and now it's going to integrate it for me. So it's already going to have all the includes and it's generating all this stuff for me. So I'll copy paste this into my gas character dot header. And then I'll copy paste this one into my gas character dot C plus plus. So now I ask, I get a ton of errors due to the attribute accessors because a bunch over here was popping up. And it said that in order to access this defined macro, it just gave me this to copy paste. And it also say make sure that the attribute set.h is included. So it's already included and I'm just gonna copy paste that macro it gave us. And you'll see a bunch of these errors went away, but I still have a couple more errors. And now that my code's working, it's telling me to edit my build.cs file. So it's gonna go ahead and tell me that in my public dependency module names, I just need to add these three. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll go to my VS code open up my project source project name again, and then click on my project name dot build dot CS. And then I'll just add those three dependencies. It told me to at the end. So it told me to add gameplay abilities, gameplay tags and gameplay tasks. So I'll go ahead and hit state. And now I'll just compile this. And if there are any errors, I will tell chat DPT to fix it up for me. And now that I've launched my project, the first thing I can do is notice that the C plus plus, folder is here and you'll see I have a gas character and gas attributes. I can just head over to my BP third person character and double click to open this up and you'll see that the parent class is currently character and I actually need to just reparent this by going to class settings 
and changing it to that guest character we created for our C++. And you'll see that it adds this ability system component over here. And now from here, I can simply just see if my attributes are actually set. So now I'm asking ChatGPT, how do I print out my gas attribute current health on my character in Blueprint? And now it's going to tell me this step by step to go to my character Blueprint, get the ability system component, get current health attribute by using the get ability system component and drag it out to get attribute value node. So let's go ahead and try this out. And it'll give us an overall of exactly how to do it here. We don't really need to use a tick. In my case, I'll just use a debug key F. So when I go back to my project, in my third person character in the event graph, I'm just gonna right click and add a debug key F, and then I'll drag out my ability system component just like it told me to, and I'll drag this out and look for a get attribute from ability system component. And the attribute I wanna get is, oh wow, it actually shows all the ones that I've created over in my C++, just like it made for me. So when I go over to my gas attributes.c++, you'll see that my it should be printing out 100 for my current health. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll go ahead and print out my current health. So I'll just drag out a print string and set the return value to what the string is. So I'll hit compile, save. And now when I go back to my third person map and click F, you'll see that my current health is set to 100. And that's exactly what we set it to in our C++. So now I'm just gonna print out every single stat value that I made using ChatGPT. Actually, there's a lot of stats, so I'll just do a few. I'm just gonna copy paste all of this until ChatGPT to create my format text to match the attributes over here. I just copy pasted all my blueprints and it's gonna come up like a really fat text. And then at the bottom, I'm just gonna say, can you give me text to paste into my format text to display the appropriate attribute? So now let's double check what it did for us. So it says current health is zero, movement speed one, max health two. Uh, let me see if that's actually right. So current health is zero. Oh yeah, movement speed is one, max health two, and then seven should be attack power. And yeah, seven attack power and so on. So I'm just gonna copy this and paste this over here where it says format text and hit compile and save. So now when I click F, it'll print out all of these stats that we've created for our character. So I'll go ahead and click F and yeah, it works exactly how I wanted it to. And it looks like ChatGPT did a lot of the coding for us. So we didn't have to really do anything in our C++. And that pretty much covers how we can use ChatGPT in order to help us set up our gas projects using C++. Thanks for watching Coded Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.